shouldn't have got this. It's too loud. This crop top. Brady's probably gonna be like, uh, did you get that from your 80s closet? Just kidding. I fucking love this. And who cares? You know what? The only person that matters is my own opinion. So, what's up guys? Welcome back. I actually really like this a lot. I think it's cute. I think it's perfect for Florida. And you know what? That's all that matters. All that matters is what I think. I really don't care what any other people think. So today that's what we're talking about. Especially because I've been, I've gotten in front of camera many times for for years now with social media for jobs and things like that. But now I'm embracing on something brand new and just getting in front of a camera and trying to talk about things. And if I have that mentality that I was really worried about what other people think about me, then I probably would never do this as well as a lot of other things that you might be choosing not to do because you're scared of what other people think. So today we're going to talk a little bit about why this might be happening and some practical advice for how you can really fix it and not have to worry about it anymore and be able to do whatever the hell you want. Here's the real problem. When you are super worried about what other people think about you, then it's probably that you are hanging out with very toxic people. And what is the best way to get rid of toxic people? Well it's just to stop hanging out with them. I know that that's harder to do and hard to hear, but that is literally the only way that you are ever gonna be able to get on the other side of this to not worry about what other people think. I mean, just eliminate them from your life. You're, we're able to do that as adults. And, you know, even kids, children, we want to teach our children that that is something that they are able to do. So, you know, toxic people, it's kind of like, it's those people that if you won the lottery, they might say to you, well, I can't imagine how much you're gonna have to pay in taxes for that. Like, those are not the people that you wanna hang out with. Help out your mind, and it's called The Mindset Mentor by Rob Dial. And he's really someone that has helped me and get my mind back to where, you know, I. I want to be when I'm trying to get back to a good place because we often fall out of our best self and it's super important for us to just get back to where we want to be but if somebody were to say something to you and it really offends you then deep down inside either subconsciously or consciously that thing that they said is probably something that bothers you so if you wanted to, you could think of it as a gift because you need to go and explore that and decide what do I need to do to fix this and really level up so that thing that they offended you with is no longer a problem or it's something that's just not bothering you anymore and you're able to step into your best self. Something else that is super, super powerful for this whole idea of not worrying about what other people think is that if you are in a place where you truly, truly believe in yourself, then it's not going to matter what anybody else thinks because your strength of how much you believe in yourself is more powerful than what anyone else can say or do. This brings up, you know, how do we fix that? So I do have some practical advice for you. So really what we need to do is get to a point where we are building confidence. And another way to build confidence is not just from results that bring success into our life, but it's also from taking ourselves and stepping on that other side of, of comfort and doing something new. Whether or not you are successful or not, you still took that leap and did something new. And if you've ever thought about a time when you've really done something brand new that you might have been really afraid to do, it really does build your confidence because you're like, you know what? I fucking did it. Like I did that shit. So being able to try new things is something that is going to continue to build up your confidence. And as you're building up your confidence, you're getting more and more into that place where you are believing in yourself. So it's not going to matter what anybody else says or thinks about you. The most liberating truth here is that what other people think of you is really none of your business. The opinions of other people, like whether they change 
every day and you really, you can't control them. This all goes back to controlling the controllable. Once you continue to start moving forward and moving more and more away from what other people think, then you are gonna get to a point where you are building success for yourself. Like you can't get to a place where you're worried about what Billy in high school thinks about you or if right now in your life you're deciding to do something new with career goals that really is stepping outside of your comfort zone and Billy from high school who thinks ill of you and by the way that person's toxic so you don't want anything to do with them anyway you can't let them control where your goals are and where your life is going to be I do have another example a couple years ago I had a girlfriend who reached out to me and she wanted to get back into shape and I love to do workouts from home all the time and I said yeah let's do it be accountability partners get on board let's do this and she decided to take on a program and I said how's everything going was just checking in with her and she said you know I was gonna do it the other day but my cleaner came to my house and I'm like and she did not feel comfortable doing her workout with the cleaner cleaning the house. Well, in five weeks when the program is over, is the cleaner gonna be there when you are measuring your results and feeling much better about yourself and you know your jeans are fitting better? The cleaner has nothing to do with it. Who cares what she thinks? She's not in control of your goals or the end game or the results. You cannot care what other people think about you. It is a super liberating thing to get to a point where the only person's opinion that matters is your own. When I was little, I didn't really have too many issues with really being self-conscious about what other people think. And I think it's in part to do with kind of the way my, my parents raised me, which in turn makes me want to make sure that I am doing that for my girls. But also I think it's because I was a little on the shorter, smaller side and Maybe I had short girl syndrome. I don't know what it was, but I, I think I always felt like I had to be bigger and more powerful. And when people like wanted to mess with me, I'm like, fuck you, you know? <laughs> I don't I don't care what you think. I'm gonna do what I want and I'm gonna embrace my weirdness and my authentic self. And that is super empowering and it's not too late to adopt that now because if you're making those decisions for yourself, then think about how much better it's gonna be next week or a year from now or years from now. Don't let anybody else determine what's gonna happen with your future and your goals. Just take the freedom to grow and just grow. That's all I have for you today. Um, I hope that you got some value out of this and if you did, please hit subscribe, like, and comment. We are not confined to judgment and this is your journey. Nobody else is in control of it and nobody else should be taking up headspace in your apartment up here. All right, thanks for joining and I will see you next time.